controversial bill shortening the time period for women to have an abortion in Florida has cleared its first committee. And as Mike Vazelinda tells us, the bill is a priority to both sides of the House leadership for different reasons. The legislation shaves nine weeks off a woman's right to legally abort. I think 15 weeks is plenty of time for a woman to know that she's pregnant. The 15 weeks was chosen because a similar Mississippi statute is already awaiting validation or rejection by the U.S. Supreme Court. Senate sponsor Kelly Stargell says it also makes sense from the point of the fetus's development. I think recognizing that this is a baby and at 15 weeks those babies have eyelashes and eyebrows and fingers and all of those types of things. We want to make sure that we, if someone's going to make a determination, they make it early on in that decision, not later. Tampa obstetrician Hayward Brown says while most women will know they're pregnant at 15 weeks, others will not. We still have a lot of women who don't seek care in the first trimester. There's still a lot of denial. Dozens of speakers were given just 30 seconds to make their case. Life doesn't begin at 15 weeks. It begins at conception. This bill is a blatant attack on Floridians' bodily autonomy. It is unconstitutional. Today's hearing was the first of five. There will be two more in the House and two in the Senate. Democrat Anna Eskamani calls the quick scheduling of the bill in lawmakers' second week. Florida Republicans are fast-tracking this anti-abortion bill. She also knows she and fellow Democrats are outnumbered. We can't expect this bill to get to the House floor. But we're going to do everything we can to amplify public opinion. The first committee approved the legislation on a party-line vote. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. The legislation also requires abortion providers monthly reports to include information about any pregnancy that occurred as a result of human trafficking.